1999, it wasn't smoke and mirrors, but an infusion of explosive talent that magically transformed the Rams from also Rams into the unlikeliest of success stories. Last Sunday, St. Louis was bursting with the anticipation of the first home playoff game in the city's history. Remember, do what you do and what you've done all season long. Oh, oh, play this game at the highest level. We gotta relax. Me play with poise, and we gotta start fast. We gotta, attack. We gotta start fast. Last start long. fast. First and ten for the 23. Warner back to throw. Come on, Kurt! Come on, Kurt! Looks over the middle. Throws. Kurt Warner's lightning strike to Isaac Bruce on the Rams' first play from scrimmage sent an early message to Minnesota and was soon followed by another electrifying play on St. Louis's next possession. Warner back to throw, deep drop, screen pass, ball. He's at the 40, 35, 30, comes right, 25, 20. St. Louis Ram offense, which scored 526 points during the regular season, which is third best in history, that week of rest has helped them. They come out just flying around the field. The Rams' defense was flying around as well. came after Jeff George early and had him running for his life as they registered four first half sacks. George had no time to get the ball to his game breaking receivers. When George did get time, he took full advantage. George takes that handoff, looks to throw, cuts. Scott right. Carter! Carter, touch! Yeah. Yeah. Touchdown, Vikings! I'm telling you, folks, as soon as that happened, you could have heard a pin drop in here, and there's 66,000 plus back in the seats. Two second quarter scores gave the Vikings a 17 to 14 lead. Make some stuff, man. Come on, here. Make some stuff! Beginning with the second half kickoff, there would be no stopping the Rams. Into this end over end kick, Tony Moore steps up to the five, makes it straight ahead of the 10, 15, cutting left to the 20, has some running room to the 25, to the near side of the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and they won't catch him today. Tony Horn returns the kickoff for a touchdown. Tony Horn's return was set up perfectly by a wall of Rams blockers, which allowed him to race untouched to his third touchdown return of the year. score put the Rams back on top 21 to 17 and signaled the beginning of the end for the Vikings as Minnesota quickly unraveled amidst the myriad of third quarter mistakes. The first rule is get the snap from center. Well, going at the end of the first half, I thought the Rams were cracking. Now it's pretty much official. The Vikings are cracking. And now the Rams can really put some nails in the coffin. Viking defense has to hang on for dear life. Try as they might, the Vikings simply couldn't knock the Rams off balance as St. Louis scored 35 straight points in just over a 20-minute span. 
League MVP Kurt Warner was masterful in his first playoff start as he threw for 391 yards and five touchdowns and completed 27 of 33 passes to 10 different receivers. Double tights on the line. Throws the end zone. Kurt Warner to Ryan Tucker. Touchdown Rams. Everybody scores in this offense. Everybody. Defensive ends. D-backs. Tackles. Running backs. Tight ends. God. This is spectacle. It's a, it's a, it's a spectacle. Look, look, look at the crowd. Look. It's getting to be a runaway now. It's getting to be a runaway. The helpless Vikings watched a once competitive game turn into another Rams blowout. Long after St. Louis had squeezed the life out of the Vikings, Minnesota finally responded with another touchdown of their own. The Vikings would actually produce three fourth quarter scores as Jeff George finished with 424 yards passing and four touchdowns, two to Randy Moss. The Vikings late scoring flurry made this the second highest scoring playoff game in history and the two quarterbacks combined for an astounding 815 yards passing. But the gaudy numbers were nothing more than hollow statistics for the Vikings, who for the second straight year were left with the empty feeling of not reaching the Super Bowl. For the Rams and Dick Vermeil, however, their Cinderella season rolls on. Yes, Bring on the Bucks. The St. Louis Rams are headed to the NFC Championship. Guys, this is the biggest win the Rams have had in a long, long time. How about those special teams? Hey! Hey!